it's our time. It's our time as a group. We're playing the right way. We're shocking the world right now. We're going to continue to do that. You sort of just have to laugh at this at this point because it's ridiculous. Halliburton, he recorded his third game with at least 25 points, 15 assists, and zero turnovers this season. That was on Thursday afternoon. No other player has put up more than one game with that stat line in their entire career since turnovers started being tracked in the late 70s. And with that, we say hello to Adrian Wojnarowski because if you've been paying attention to Indiana basketball this season, you maybe saw this night coming for Halliburton and the Pacers. But it felt like last night was truly a coming out party in front of the entire yeah. NBA and basketball world. Woj, what message did this send to the rest of the league? And look, and, and Tyrese Halliburton said this to me on the eve of this Final Four, which is, I am trying to tell players in this league, you'll want to come play with me. I'm going to get you the ball. I'm going to make it easy for you. And we are going to win. And what he is doing for this Indiana organization now is allowing their president, Kevin Pritchard, to, to, to be able to try to go find his Robin. When they traded for him, they were in the small market, risk versus reward. Yeah. For Indiana now, and they've been aggressive in trying to trade for that big athletic two-way wing player that they need uh, to build out this roster. And if that's OG Ananobi, if that's Pia Pascal Siakam in Toronto, those kinds of players, as they become available in trade talks, as the Pacers, you know that we are willing to risk uh, giving up picks and assets because we believe we will be able to re-sign that player, that we're not going to lose them in free agency. And that's vital for an organization like Indiana because you can't always take great risks in places that are not free agent destinations. And what Tyrese Halliburton is determined to do is make Indiana a place where they can get great players and then keep them. And right now you look around the league and players talk and, and they see a player like who would not want to play with Tyrese Halliburton yeah. right now. And that is transcendent for a market and an organization like Indiana. Wouldn't you? Well, w Woj, actually, Austin Rivers and I today on First Take, we were talking about this very topic. Yeah. And we were saying, if we were players in the league right now, and granted, Austin and I were role players. I'll admit that. <laughs> but if we were players Big in the league right now, when we took a landscape of players. right now, who would we want to play with in the NBA? It's two guys. It's Nikola Jokic and Tyrese Halliburton. Hmm. And, and part of it is because Tyrese Halliburton is one of the three or four best offensive players in the world. And let's take a look at the tape here to show you why. And it starts with pace. Tyrese Halliburton and the Pacers are always looking to push in transition. He's got his head up, incredible vision, finds Obi Toppin at a key point in the game here. He's number one in the NBA in transition assists. Here in the half court, gets the matchup he wants with Brooklyn's and isolations. And of course, elite pick and roll player. He's unlocked a lot with this step back three. He is number one in the NBA in efficiency, shooting off the dribble and playing out of pick and rolls. How many guys in NBA history have that skill set? He is the best in the NBA right now at all of that. Okay, the Lakers are about to start practice behind us. Yeah. There's going to be one thing at the top of their scouting report. Get back. <laughs> they have got to get back. Tyrese Halliburton is like the ocean. If you turn your back, he will kill you. It's just about him. It's about the team. It's about doing it for the group. However, there was one moment last night that I'm not sure I could continue to use the word humble. It's when he hit that three, <laughs> and then he hit the Dame Time celebration. Everybody remembers that. That might have been one of the best yeah. parts of, of the nights, in, in my opinion. Shout out to Dame, by the way, for taking it the way you I thought he handled that very well. It, Let's yeah. hear exactly how Dame handled it. I learned as a, as a kid, you know, when you dish it out, you got to be willing to take it. And for as many times as I've done it to people, you know, I can't be upset when um, somebody else does it. You know what I mean? I think that's also um, a, a sign of respect and acknowledgement for, you know, knowing my history and knowing what I do. I respected it. You know, I didn't think we shook hands after the game and I, I wasn't moved by it left or right. Nobody's going to give you nothing. Like sometimes I feel like we expect just because we have great players out there that Tyrese uh, Halliburton or Miles Turner or Nate Smith or Buddy Hill would just give us the game. Like, no, we have to, mm. we have to be better. We have to go out there and take it. I feel like their bench kicked out of butts. It's simple. You know, I watched the, I saw the stat sheet. I usually don't look at the stat sheet, but uh, look at the stat sheet. They, they were way better than us. 
So defense has been the Bucks' identity really over this championship window, but they're giving up almost 119 points per game this season on pace to be the most in a season in franchise history. So obviously the defense is nowhere close to where we've grown accustomed no. to it being, Wilbon, but do you think that it's that cut and dry, that's the issue for the Milwaukee Bucks here? It's a big part of the issue, but to me there's an issue within that, and it's Chris Middleton. I mean, you know, Damon and Giannis is great. We can talk about the two-man game and how they play with each other. And it was interesting talking to Damon the other night about the process they're in. But Chris Middleton, and I, I think it's injuries. I don't think he forgot how to play. Chris Middleton during the championship season averaged 20.4 points per game. He is down to 12.4 now. He's down 11 minutes per game, down to 22 minutes. And, and Richard was reminding me of this before we went on air, he was a plus defensive player. Maybe a B-minus defensive player. And that's a big part of that identity that Milwaukee had. He is now a guy that is likely to be hunted because he's not physically the same player that we got used to seeing. And he was a three-time All-Star twice before and once after mm. the championship season. He's not that player anymore. To me, as it, let's say that let's say that, that, that Giannis and Dame have a minus seasons. Okay. That's not going to be good enough in Milwaukee without Chris Middleton or some replacement. Not, you, you hate seeing this happen, but that's the reality. Well, on the Middleton point, uh, he, he has been on a minutes restriction. Right. Because, you know, coming back Come from offseason right, right, surgery, right. I, I think in stretches he's been good. Towards the end of last season when he was off his minutes restrictions, I thought he had a really good stretch. But you're right. He's key. For me, the, the key to whether the Milwaukee Bucks are a real championship level team or not, it comes down to the defensive side of the ball. This has been a top five defense for a number of years. And I always assume there might be some growing pains bringing in a rookie head coach. He, Adrian Griffin has already shown a willingness to mix up different de defensive coverages. He's got Brook Lopez back in a drop. But the real issue is they don't really have a point of attack defender. Because they traded Drew Holiday, and of course the trade-off to that is they're better in the clutch. Uh, you know, going into last night, they were nine and two in clutch games that Dame played. So yep. Dame time has been there, but they just haven't been there defensively. Well, and the thing is, too, sometimes some folks would wonder, okay, well, should they be in as many clutch games, clutch situations as they have been against the level of opponent that they we, we've seen this season? Yeah. So in all honesty, like they have gotten what they wanted from Dame. Their fourth quarter offense is one of the best in the league. Mm -hmm. They've done a little bit of smoke and mirrors because their schedule has been favorable so far, and they've sort of squeaked out some wins because Dame has been so good. So they've bought themselves a little bit of a margin for error. So they definitely are not the defensive team they need to be, and Chris Milton's where he needs to be. But let's just point out that we are early in the season, yep. and this is going to be a six-month project for them. And this is a team where their improvement largely... Chào mừng các bạn đến với kênh YouTube của mình. Và ngày hôm nay... Mình sẽ review cho các bạn một um, câu chuyện cửa không gian bốn chiều được nằm trong uh, uh, cuốn truyện Doraemon. Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện và mình mong các bạn sẽ theo dõi phòng họ kênh của mình. như cưỡi vò chả thích cưỡi sư phụ giống cưỡi heo còn chán hơn cười khoái chí quá con gái vua khan khó khác thích cưỡi ngựa lạc đà ói rồi mọi người ra ngoài hết đi mình chả biết thay tã thế này thế này á không phải thế này chắc thế này ói sắc ướp ai cà mà
Chào mừng các bạn đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Hậu Duệ Hung Nô trong quyển truyện Ô Long Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Và mình mong các bạn sẽ luôn theo dõi và đồng hành cùng với mình Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Sữa bột bong bóng được nằm trong cuốn truyện của Ô Long mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Và mình mong các bạn luôn à, sẽ ủng hộ kênh của mình Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một câu chuyện Bản tính con gái được nằm trong cuốn truyện Ô Long Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Và mình mong luôn mong là các bạn sẽ luôn ủng hộ Và à, chia sẻ kênh giúp mình Baby đòi uống sữa, đun nước đi con Oái, đỏ hết rồi Chắc đây cũng là sữa bột Là bột giật Không ăn sữa mà cứ khóc hoài Hay là bị nó bị ốm nhỉ Không bị bệnh hay là nó đòi cái gì Sư phụ biết tôi con gái thích gì nhất không Sư phụ thấy chưa Tắm cho baby nào Các đò đệ tắm giỏi quá Bé con im thiên thích Baby siêu quá Lặn một hơi hơn 10 phút Đưa baby đi dạo phố nào Đứng lại Con cõng thế không an toàn Để nó cho ta Đệ hết muốn đi dạo rồi Vào thời Hán, tuyên đế đất nước Trung Quốc đang trong giai đoạn hùng mạnh Thịnh trệ lúc bấy giờ do các quý tộc tranh giành quyền lợi mà thế lực của quân Alo Em đang hỏi uh, gì nhé Huyền còn cái vé này trước bố mua cho không? Chắc nó chẳng bọc đến nữa đúng không? Thì không mặc đến thì để cho con nhảy thẳng chứ ừ, Hỏi nó xem xong ai cầm vào đây chị em Con nhảy nó lớn bằng ngũ yên mà như nó còi ừ, Như nó còi ừ. 